About a year and a half ago, I filled this bin with leaves, a lot of leaves, and it's been sitting ever since. Now it's time to dig inside and find the black gold that's hidden. Join me today as I share with you how I harvest my leaf mold. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott. In autumn, a year and a half ago, I began collecting leaves to make leaf mold. And I constructed this circular bin. This is welded fence wire, about three feet tall and four feet wide. I filled this entire container with dried leaves, watered it well, and they began to settle. And I filled it again and they began to settle. And I filled it again, and they began to settle. And over the course of a little more than 18 months, I'm left with about 12 inches of leaf mold. Now, not all of these leaves have decomposed. What I'm after is what's inside. Leaf mold is simply decomposed leaves. It's not a lot different from compost. In compost, we're decomposing organic matter. Compost is primarily a bacterial process, and we're mixing nitrogens and carbons together to get our compost. While this is decomposed organic matter, it's just the leaves. And in this case, it's primarily the fungi that breaks down the cellulose, the lignin in the leaves, to a nice, light, fluffy, rich material that I can use in my garden and in potting mixes in the future. The harvesting is pretty easy. All I have to do is just remove this outer fencing and I'll be able to get in here and harvest everything underneath. The upper leaves and the outer layer of leaves are pretty dry. I live in an area with very low humidity, but inside the leaves have broken down almost entirely the deeper we get. And it's this black gold that is the leaf mold I'm looking forward to using. Making leaf mold is a lengthy process. I'm stopping at about 18 months. Two to three years is not unusual. Now, I could have hastened the process by adding nitrogen to this pile, by adding urine or chicken manure or even a nitrogen fertilizer, but I wanted to do this completely naturally. All this pile has been exposed to is the weather and me occasionally watering it to keep it moist for the entire time. It froze in winter because I get pretty cold winters, but once it started thawing out again in spring, the decomposition returned and now I'm ready to use it. I have two primary uses for the material in this pile. First, I'll harvest this upper dry layer along with some decomposed leaves and the outer layer along with some decomposing leaves. And I'll use this as mulch in my garden beds. The inner material that's mostly decomposed and doesn't have the dried leaves, I'll save partly to allow the decomposition to continue, but it's that material that I'm gonna be using in potting mixes and as soil amendments going into the end of the year. I'm not that concerned that I get too much of the leaf mold in the material that I'm going to be using as mulch. This decomposed material will improve my soil. And even as a mulch on top of the soil, 
it still adds benefits. I'll be putting the actual leaf mold into this plastic trash can and then covering it. I want it to stay moist. That will ensure that the organisms that are alive in this pile, both the bacteria and the fungi, continue to stay alive. And that's one of the benefits of using this as a soil amendment, is that we're adding extra life to our soil. On top, I have half-inch hardware cloth. As I start harvesting, most of the small pieces will fall right through this hardware cloth, but there might be some clumps of large sticks or leaves that haven't fully broken down yet. These can go in the mulch wheelbarrow. And I'll just harvest this and put it into one of these two containers for the leaf mold or as a mulch. The leaf mold from the inside of the pile has broken down the most. There's still a few larger pieces, but that's why I'm straining it through this hardware cloth so that I have smaller, relatively even-sized particles. Occasionally, I'll come across some sticks that got mixed in. If this pile were allowed to stay in place for two or three years, even these sticks would have broken down. Now, I'm not in a hurry as I harvest this wonderful leaf mold. After all, it's been here for a year and a half. If this takes a few extra minutes, I'm okay with that. If I were just using this as a mulch or a soil amendment, I could go ahead and scoop it with a shovel into this same container or into bags or use a garden fork for that process. But for this pile, I really want to try to sift out these smaller particles so that I could use them in future potting mixes. It all comes down to why you're making the leaf mold and how you're planning on using the leaf mold. And after a year and a half or two or three years, how much time you want to spend to harvest the final result. This is the beautiful leaf mold that I'm after. And again, a primary reason why I started doing this a year and a half ago. This is the material that I can use in potting soil and as a very good soil amendment. It's reported that leaf mold can retain 500% of its weight in water. This is a great way to improve the water retention of potting mixes in pots and container gardening in particular. And leaf mold is packed with nutrients. Trees bring up the minerals and other nutrients from the soil and send it out to the leaves. Well, as these break down, many of those nutrients remain. And while compost has a lot of wonderful nutrients, mineral count tends to be higher in leaf mold. So in soil that has both leaf mold and compost, you really get the best of both worlds. And this can be a great alternative for peat moss or cocoa core, both that have limitations and both that are neutral as far as the nutrients are concerned. Making leaf mold really gives you an opportunity to make a product that you don't have to buy and that is completely sustainable. If you have access to a lot of leaves in autumn, well then make leaf mold. Now, it does take a long time, but there's almost no effort to it at all. And even though it could be two years before you harvest, well, if you make a pile every single year, after that two-year point, 
you'll be harvesting every single year and you'll be able to use leaf mold throughout your garden and in your containers and pots. I'll continue harvesting this bile and using the material and you can expect to see how I do that in future videos. And if you haven't seen the video on how I make the leaf mold, well then go ahead and watch it now. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. Mm -hmm.